California. And I came home on a furlough and attended church at Edge Hill Ward, where both Bernice's parents and my parents lived. And there I met Bernice at the Edge Hill Ward uh, in the Sunday school class. Here are some of the friends, Jack Bingham, Smith Monson, this is Jack Bingham. Then, after courting Bernice, uh, about a year later, I returned on a furlough, and on April the 1st, 1943, we were married. It was springtime, it was beautiful spring, the flowers were blooming, and around the temple grounds, around the church office buildings, everything seemed to be in bloom. We were married in the um, Salt Lake Temple. There. After which we had our reception in the in Memorial Grove called the Memorial House. A beautiful place nestled in the trees at the mouth of City Creek Canyon. We had many people that uh, attended our reception. Beautiful cake. Bernice's mother put on a beautiful re reception for us. Here's part of the line. My best man was my cousin Garrett. There's Bernice's mother and father. My mother Mary, her father William, uh, Grandma Remington, my father. This is Grandpa White over on the left. Great Grandma Remington standing there with Grandpa White. Bernice was a beautiful bride that I was exceptionally proud of. Aunt Ada coming through the line, Uncle Ed following, Ada Gelb. It's pretty well the custom at that time to kiss the bride and, and the bridesmaids. Catherine White. Ruth, the bride, the groom. Because of the government being involved in, in actual war, it was necessary that I have my uniform on at all times. So that's why I had my uniform on at the reception. We were able to start the evening's dancing by our dancing the first dance together. As again, some of the beautiful flowers surrounding the church office building. The background is the old gymnasium, which has been replaced now. We went for a ride on the first day after our marriage. Went around the loop, as it's called, a flowing well at 48 South and Highland Drive. It was a favorite place to stop and get a drink. <laughs>